said wordreference.com. Wordreference.com is what we want all of you to be using for any sort of vocabulary or anything um, instead of Google Translate. This is much more reliable. So today we're going to give you an example of how to use this. This is wordreference.com and today we're going to search for the word play. I know you guys already know this, but we're just going to look at how to use it. So I typed in play. Here are the lists of the ways that in which we use play. And then here, over here, these are the ways to say it in Spanish. If for wordreference.com, it will tell you the verb and it'll say whether it's a verb or a noun, we see this, this V here, and so we know that this one's a verb. And we see that it has an example. It says, do something for amusement. That's the kind of play this is talk talking about. And it gives you an example. The children are playing. Los niños están jugando. So we know that jugar is used anytime you just say play in general, like they're playing for fun. The second kind of play is to perform on, or a musical instrument. Um, we know this is also a verb because we see the V here. And here we have the example. He plays the piano and the guitar. Toca el piano y la guitarra. And over here, tocar. That's the verb. Here we've got some other things that we haven't really talked about, um, but it's to, to play music or to put on music. Um, poner is kind of like to put. So you can tell someone to, to put on the music or to play the music. You wouldn't really use tocar Maybe jugar sometimes for this, but it gives you examples down here. Like, I am playing this new CD on the stereo. Voy a poner el nuevo CD en el equipo. Um, and also here's another example for, with using sonar. A nuevo CD de Coldplay sonaba en el estereo. That means it's like playing, like you can hear it's sounding almost. So these are three different verbs that they have in Spanish where we only have the one in English. Um, also down here we see that we have this that says N. This is a noun. This is like if you're going to say that you're going to go to a performance or the theater, like I want to go to a play, then you're going to come over here and see that it's obra. Um, we see that the N is here because we know it's a noun and we see the F and that means we know it's feminine. So they also have the example here, I'd like to see a play for my birthday. Me gustaría ver una obra de teatro por mi cumpleaños. So we can see just right here, there's five or six different words in Spanish that you can use for just one here. This is why Google Translate doesn't work, is because when you just type in the word play there, they just choose one at random. Um, to really write an effective paper or any piece in Spanish, you really need to use word reference and figure out exactly how you want to use the, wor the word and look up the right context for it. Um, Word reference is a great tool because it has a bunch of different things. If those first five aren't really what you're looking for, just keep scrolling down. Um, even at the bottom, like press play, here's another one. Um, I guess that's not a great example because it's just play in Espanol también. But all these are different uses for the word play. And if you still don't find anything you, that you um, are looking for, down here at the bottom, there's more like compound forms, so like phrases. So you can look at these, and if you're looking for a phrase, this is a good place to go to look for um, phrases that contain that word, like a foul play. is something in English that means um, like doing something illegally. Oh, yeah, illegal act, and so they have that here. Also in the very, very bottom, they have um, conversations that people wrote. Like all these are discussions. And so actually people that spoke Spanish that, and people that don't speak Spanish that have questions, like they'll actually go here and have a conversation back and forth. And so you can click on these to see if there's an example there that relates to what you're talking about. All right, and I think that's it. La palabra secreta de hoy es diccionario. Diccionario. So tomorrow when you come to school or whenever that may be, we're going to know if you watch this or not because we're going to ask you la palabra secreta. And you should say diccionario. Okay? Hasta pronto, amigos. And don't forget to use wordreference.com a no Google Translator. Mm -hmm. Bien. Adios. Adios.